Hi, this is John Sibby, and I'm going to teach you how to make a 90 second pizza. Here are a few key things that you'll need for a pizza. First of all, a pizza oven. This is a Mouge Naini one, Medio 110 that has about 38 inch interior diameter, and I'm going to make a 90 second pizza. I've already built the fire, and now I'm going to knock that fire down and I'm going to push it to the back. This is an ash mover, and I'm going to push those ashes back to the back rear, right and left of the oven. So I moved all the ashes back, and now I want you to come in a little closer and check out what I've done. Now, I'm going to use my wire brush to make sure the oven floor is clean. Next, I'm going to use my infrared thermometer to see where the hot spots may be and where the overall temperature of the oven floor is. The oven floor is approximately 679 degrees, meaning that I should be able to cook my pizza within about a minute and a half to two minutes. All right, I have my dough ball. All right, it's been rising for a day and a half to two days. It has a uh, cornmeal on top to make it sure that it can move on the surface. I've cleaned my pizza making surface and now I'm just going to add a little bit of flour to help me shape the dough. Now I'm going to start and create an edge and I'm going to push down that with my hands and now I'm going to start stretching, stretching the dough so I can make the pizza. After that, I'm going to use the backs of my hands to stretch the dough. All right, without tearing it. This is high gluten flour, so it's nice and stretchy, but there's only so much you can stretch it with before it tears. Ready? So I have San Marzano tomatoes, whole, that have been crushed and then mixed with spices like garlic powder, black pepper, crushed red pepper, uh, a little bit of onion powder, as well as salt and olive oil. Next, I have double O flour and I have mozzarella. I mix it half whole milk and half part skin. Part skin. Lastly, I'm going to put flour on my peel, and I'm going to stretch it one more time, get this nice thin crust, okay, and place it. After you place it, arrange it, and then you take your sauce and place it on. I like a lot of sauce. Start in the middle and move it outwards. All right. One last little push to the middle here. And I'll put the cheese on. Nice handful of cheese right in the middle. And then move it on out. That's a simple pie. Not too much cheese. All right, the pizza's ready to go in. I'm gonna put it in. So the floor of the oven is ready to go. What I'd like to do is blow a little bit of air underneath so it moves quick. And I'm just gonna put it right in. 
I'm gonna start my timer. All right, so the pizza's been there about two and a half to three minutes. It's ready to be taken out. I've turned it a few times. So let's pull it out and see what we have. I'm gonna use my peel, go underneath. Take my plate. That's a nice looking pizza right here. Let's cut it up and we'll enjoy. All right, as the pizza is cooling, before I can slice it up, I'm going to pour myself a nice glass of Pinot Noir. All right, the pizza is cooled. I'm going to slice it up and enjoy my dinner. Excellent. Thanks for watching my episode. Enjoy. Salute.